Hey everybody, this video brings me and Sean out to Trap, Pennsylvania. And of course, the reason why we are in Trap, Pennsylvania once again is to check out their Goodwill store, which I was just at, I believe, um, was it last week or two weeks? I, I honestly don't, <laughs> what is that? Ta-da! Ta I honestly don't remember how long ago it was that I was last in here. I'm thinking maybe it was just the last week, so I'm not gonna hold my breath. I'm not necessarily expecting any overly amazing finds, but it's another week. It's, it's new movies, you, you never know what you might find. And I'm thinking maybe possibly today we could, we could find something good. Again, not holding my breath, but I'm thinking it's a possibility we could find something good today. I don't know, I was just at three thrift stores over the weekend where all I found was um, two CDs. So that wasn't so great. So I don't know, it's just kind of the sign of the times where I'm just finding less and less and less at thrift stores, but I'm gonna keep the power of positivity alive. I'm gonna say today we're gonna find something good. I'm still not holding my breath, but I'm still gonna say, we're gonna find something good. You're looking for what, books and movies and Wii games yeah. and, and stuff. All right, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna find stuff. Let's go see what they have. All right, so of course the first thing we're gonna be doing is diving just immediately into the movies. And right away, I'm actually seeing some interesting things like Star Trek The Next Generation seasons one, two, and four, all brand new factory steel for only $7. I mean, that's a pretty good deal. If I did not already have these, I would be all over these, but um, I do have them, so I don't really need them. I mean, mine aren't factory sealed, but I don't know, that's 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 pretty awesome. I'm, I'm actually looking to upgrade these to Blu-ray. I think I have season one on Blu-ray and the other season's only on DVD, so I don't know. I'm gonna probably just end up passing on those for now. Here's the complete series of Six Feet Under. That's pretty amazing. Brand new factory sealed Three Stooges, which is pretty cool. Brand new factory sealed Horton Here's a Who, the digital copy special edition release. That's pretty neat. Some Blu-rays down here. Okay, so. I'm not necessarily seeing things I need, but I'm seeing cool things. These are pretty awesome. Some Mobile Suit Gundam Wing W, if I'm saying that correctly. I'm always so confused by anime titles. I don't know if the W is supposed to be pronounced or you just, it's it's Gundam Gundam W Wing. I, I have no idea. But anyway, these are pretty cool, but they're they're $5, $4.99 for some reason. I don't know why they're charging $5 a piece on the the anime. I don't I don't think I have those. I, I kind of technically need them, but I'm thinking at $5, I'm just gonna end up passing. Here's um, the 3D release of Alice in Wonderland. That's cool, but I already have that, don't need it. So again, I'm seeing interesting things, just not interesting things I I need. This is interesting though. It's the Mr. Men and Little Miss, Mr. Strong Makes a Splash and 12 other stories DVD release. I don't have any Mr. Men and Little Miss releases in my collection. Yes, it is a UK release, I'm guessing region Actually, it says, um, ooh, it's, it's region free. So, okay, yeah, I'm thinking I need to pick this up for my collection. I've actually never seen any of these cartoon shorts. I don't really know if they're actually any good, but I love me some animation. I used to love the books when I was a kid. So I'm thinking for uh, for two ninety nine. All right, yeah, this I'm gonna pick up. All right, so what's Sean finding here? What is this? Ice Age. Oh, Ice Age, the two disc special edition release. All right, that's, that's pretty awesome. So you were saying that since I told you when we moved to Florida, you can have your own TV and Blu-ray player yeah. in your room. You're, you're wanting to, to beef up your movie collection. You, you, ha you, have, a, you have a small movie collection, but yeah. you want to beef it up. You want, you want a bigger yeah. collection. I, I did have a bigger collection. Most of the stuff I was just like... Mm. We got rid of some of it because you, yeah. you didn't really watch it anymore. No. There's like a lot of kids titles and stuff you didn't watch. Yeah. So fa fair enough, but I all right. Like I see. I think it's pretty cool. It is cool, but here's the thing. It's not really yeah. an uncommon Blu-ray. So I'm thinking you should probably just hold off on buying that and wait yeah. to find it on Blu-ray. That, ma that would make sense. Yeah. I. I'm gonna say hold off for those. These all have Blu-ray players. Exactly. Exactly. Here's a brand new factory sealed copy of um, the Falcon Crest season one. I've actually never heard of this show. I, I've never heard of this. I don't know what this is. I'm guessing maybe, is it some kind of drama or is it like a soap opera? I don't know. You guys leave a comment down below. Falcon Crest, that is a, that is a new one. But again, season one, brand new factory sealed. Pretty awesome, but I, I've never heard of it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass on it. This is pretty awesome, though I do already have it. It's the Body Worlds Souvenir DVD that I guess at one point was going for $19.95. I actually already had this. I did go to see Body Worlds down in Philadelphia many years ago when they when they came around to the area. This is pretty cool. I had I had to buy this, of course, when I did go to see Body Worlds. So awesome souvenir DVD, cool to come across this. But again, it's something I already have, so I'm gonna pass it. Oh wow, it was like what three or so years ago. I have a gold mine in my hand right now. Here's another copy of season one of Falcon Crest. Is this the, the cinema god's way of, of telling me I, I need to pick this up and watch this? I, 
I don't know. Again, I've never heard of it, so I'm still just going to end up passing on that. Here's Seasons of Mama's Family, which is pretty cool. I already have the complete series set of that. I don't I don't need that. I'm seeing some interesting Blu-rays, like there's Snow White down here, which is pretty awesome. The Signature Collection release and some uh, Harry Potter and Kung Fu Panda 3. There's a Cinderella down here, Frozen. Again, I'm seeing some interesting things. A lot of this stuff is actually still brand new factory sealed as well, which is pretty cool, but it's just... I know, story of my life. It's just, it's stuff I, I have, things I, I don't need. All right, well, unfortunately, I'm not really seeing anything else I wanna pick up for me. Nothing I even really wanna grab for the store either. So I, it, it might just be the uh, the one DVD here that might actually be about it. But again, I am seeing some interesting things like here's Leprechaun in the Hood, which is pretty awesome. There's all kinds of like brand new factory sealed DVDs here and really good Blu-rays and whatnot. I mean, there's Muppets Most Wanted and Tangled's down here. and avatar and planes again i'm seeing really really cool things and everything's like in super minty condition so if you're looking to uh to beef up your your movie collection i i'm, I'm gonna say come out to the the trap of pennsylvania goodwill because you can find some pretty awesome things it's just unfortunately for me it's a whole bunch of awesome things i already own and and don't need and again i know it's a story of my life and i just i have everything my collection's too large i need to just sell the whole thing off and start again, right? Is that what I should do? Sell off my entire collection and start again, Sean? What are you, look, what are you looking at, Sean? Ooh, <laughs> do you want that? I think, I, I think I'll get this, and if I see anything yeah? else. Okay. Um, I want this. Okay. All right, so what is it Sean's finding here? It's some, um, oh, Looney Tunes, the Spotlight Collection. Look at that, the premiere edition, 28 cartoon classics. That's pretty awesome. I have all these in like the, what is it, the Spotlight? No, this is Spotlight Collection. I have the, I have the gold. The gold collections, I think it's called, or the golden collections or something like that. This is so pretty cool, though. This is awesome. Yeah, this is so, like a beginner for like, yeah. my type of collection. All right, so that's what you want for your, for your yeah. collection, your mm -hmm. your new growing collection. <laughs> Are we going to get you a new, like, media shelf for your for your room? Yeah. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> so as I'm always saying, you have to go through everything multiple times because sometimes you might miss over something, and Sean actually noticed I something that I, that I completely missed over. Look at that. 102... Dalmatians yeah. out of print goes for a little bit of money. Pretty awesome. Unfortunately, though, dun, dun, dun. yeah, this disc has seen some, uh, dun, dun, dun. Ooh, ooh, look at that. It has seen some better days. So sadly, we're just going to have to close that back up, but put that back back on the shelf. Yeah, I get, but mm. again, that goes to show you. That's why you, that's why you always look through everything multiple times because you never know what you might miss over. Unfortunately, I'm missing over something I'm not going to buy, <laughs> but it was a pretty cool find. Okay, so I looked through the movies multiple times. I actually went through all the CDs as well, and um, it's just going to be this and uh, and that. That's the only thing I'm really finding. Again, they had really good stuff here. I am surprised by the sheer amount of awesome titles they have. It's just, like I said, it's titles I don't need, titles I already have, titles I'm going to end up passing on. But at least I found one thing, so that's... It's, it's something. All right, anyway, we're going to check out the rest of the store, see what else we can find, maybe some toys. You want to look through the books? Yeah. Maybe we'll find something else. Like. We'll see. Every time I see these, I'm always tempted to pick them up, but I, I don't need these. I have no reason to grab these, but they're pretty awesome. The old VHS holders. So when when I was your age, these were the cool things to have in your house. These tacky wood grain VHS tape holders. You put all your your VHS tapes in there. They would they would store away. They're they're pretty awesome, and I mean they're only four dollars a piece, which is pretty cool. I know some collectors out there are really into these, and. You're probably yelling at me right now for not buying these, but what am I, I mean, they, they weigh like 400 pounds. What am I gonna do, ship them? I'm just, I'm gonna pass. And I'm thinking toys are also going to be a bit of a bust. I don't see anything I want, nothing you want either, right? No, nothing. We did see this really awesome Where's Waldo hat though. Look at this thing. That is so cool. I, I honestly kind of want this for me. We actually found Waldo, he's right, he's right there. So we, we did we did find the Waldo. What are they asking on this? It's only um it's only five dollars. That's an awesome hat. I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on it though. It is still pretty amazing, and I can't believe it. Sean does not want the Nerf basketball hoop for his his door. When I was a kid, like again growing up in the the 80s into the 90s, every kid had to have one of these on their their door. If you did not have one of these in your bedroom, you were you were a loser. But I guess time times have changed. But you said you're not in the sports. You're only into. No. <laughs> because I'm not into sports. I'm only into esports. I mean, you know what e is. I do know what esports is. Times, times have changed. Anyway, that's gonna be a, a bust for the uh, the toys. Let's go see what else they have. Wow, this is pretty awesome. Not in the best condition, but look at the Marilyn Monroe doll. That is neat. I 
see, I kind of want to just buy this stuff and I don't know, put it in my, my library somewhere. Obviously I, I would take it out of the actual container because it's not looking too good, but I don't know. What do they ask it on this? Ooh, $15 in that shape? No. No joke, I am officially now in love with these green chairs. Look at these things. It, it, what's it say? It does say green chair. <laughs> these are awesome though. I see, I love this kind of furniture. Like this is, this is my jam. This is what I would do with my house. Look at that, $19.99. I just, it's tacky, it's amazing, it's awesome. We actually, see you don't remember because you, you um, they, they, were, they were gone by the time you were born. When I was a kid, and even when we moved into the house, we had these ugly, tacky, green chairs and green couches in the uh, the living room. We ended up getting rid of them, but honestly, yeah, I can't. Yeah, we do have red ones now. The red, the red ones aren't nearly as nice. I regret getting rid of those. I kind of wish you would have kept them. All right, well, we're just about done here at this Goodwill, but I don't know. I'm kind of bummed because you know what I've been looking for for like the longest time, but I just I can't seem to find in any stores. I'm really on the hunt for maybe like a used blizzard cup and maybe like a a funko pop box without the actual funko pop in it if only i could find those if only just somewhere i could find a used blizzard cup sitting on a shelf and a funko pop box without the actual funko pop in it that would be amazing what are they what are they charging on this um it's it's four dollars i'm not gonna touch the cup this is interesting but i'm thinking it's um diy it's some different Batman, like Prince, I don't know, put into this frame. They've all been like weirdly stretched out though. Like Batman looks super tall and skinny. This one's really weird though, because it's Batman with Spider-Man. That's that's kind of bizarre. I'm digging the, the Batman, the animated series one though. That's pretty awesome. Super crazy pixelated though. What are they asking on this? It's, um, uh, oh, four, four dollars. I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's that. All right, so we're walking down the last aisle and I'm thinking that's probably just about gonna do it for this Goodwill, but then out of the corner of my eye, I actually spot something I do, no joke, need, and that is more bookends. Now that I have my entire, what, what are you doing? Ooh, bookends. Now that I have my entire collection split up into different genres, I, I need more of these. And um, yeah, for only $2.99, I'm definitely picking these up. The, the brown one, probably just gonna throw into the trash. That is, that is bent up, not looking too good, but those black ones, yeah, for uh, for three bucks. All right, so I'm, I'll pick it up bookends and a, and a DVD. And you're buying you're buying a DVD as well, so. It has, that has what? 28. 28 shorts. classic shorts. All right, but I'm thinking, yeah, it's, that's probably gonna do it for this Goodwill. All right, guys, so yeah, that is gonna do it for this Goodwill. All in all, I mean, it was okay. I got the uh, their Mr. Men, Little Miss. DVD region free. That's kind of awesome. Looking forward to checking that out. You got the, the Looney Tunes, which is pretty cool. I needed some more bookends. I got some more bookends, but I mean, that's just kind of the way it goes now with, uh, with Goodwills. It seems like every Goodwill I go into, I'm either finding nothing or just very, little. very little. It's just, it's, it's a sign of the times. It's just, it's my life now. It's, it's my life of, of thrifting, unfortunately, but still, at least I found something. So I'm not going to complain too much. I'm happy. You got something. I got something. Wait. You guys got to watch a video. We, we all we all got something out of this. So anyway, guys, with that, we're done. So as always, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. You're happy, you're really happy with your finds. <laughs> Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check down below for links to Patreon, Spreadshirt, and the Cinema Sickness store. It came from Cinema Sickness. Also check down below for my second channel, Retro Rest Stop for daily adventures. And I will see you guys in the next video. And dance! <laughs> I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.